Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Here's the word from Scripture today from the book of Proverbs. Be careful. As you walk through this life, be careful. There are people out there, and sometimes in here, they tend to be a little bit deceptive. Listen to these words, this, this simple little passage from Proverbs chapter 20, verse 14. It is no good. It's no good, says the buyer. Then he goes off and boasts about the purchase. So you put something on eBay or you're putting something up for sale and someone comes in and goes, oh, it's no good. There's that, look at what's wrong here. Look at this and look at this. And, and they overstate the case and they point out things and, and they, they know they're shading the truth. They know they're flat out lying. It's no good. It's no good. And then they get a better price from you. They kind of rip you off a little bit. They leave and they go, ha ha, I knew the whole time. And you go, well, who would do that? Here's the answer. Almost everybody. I mean, and it, it's just, it's, the warning is here in scripture, be careful because we live in a deceptive world. And I, I think more and more so. I walked into a CVS store the other day and half the shelves were empty. And I said to the woman up front, I said, do you have any problem getting stock and supply? And she said, well, we just have so much stolen these days that we don't refill a lot of the orders. And I thought, in Monterey? This was in Monterey, where I live. CVS over by Whole Foods, over by the mall. And I was shocked. I know this is the case other places, but apparently it's becoming more and more an issue right here where I live. But it doesn't end there. If somebody's selling a car, they can often portray it not the way it is, or the person buying wants to kind of point out what is wrong when they know it's not as bad as, they, as they're saying. Phone scams. I had, I had people in Shoreline Church in the last two weeks who got two or three text messages from me asking for help with something. But the problem is none of the text messages were from me. A scammer somehow got into our database, got my name, information, started sending things out to people. And so, so, so here's the thing. The scripture says, be careful. It's no good. It's no good, says the buyer. Then he goes off and boasts about the purchase. Why is that there? To warn us, to give us wisdom, not to be freaked out and afraid of every single person. I can't trust anyone, but to have discernment and wisdom as you walk through life. Uh, there's even shows that you could watch that you'd see this play out. Uh, American Pickers, Pawn Stars, Antique Roadshow, and more. If you turn on any of those shows and you watch it, and here's what happened in every transaction. Let me give you the exact completely fair price. And the other person says, no, no, no. It's worth a little less than that or more than that. And, let me, and we make sure it's always, I'm getting what I, I think I'm paying for and it's totally fair. The shows would be boring. What makes them exciting is when somebody gets a great deal that the other person didn't know about and they walk out and they go, ha ha, this thing's worth $10,000 and they sold it for 50 bucks. And I knew it the whole time. You go, is that deception? Is that just life? Well, you figure that out. But what I'm saying is, as you're walking through life, have wisdom and be careful. So here's a couple of insights from, from this passage. Be discerning and pray for discernment. God, help me have wisdom to see if someone's trying to rip me off here. Help me have the wisdom to see that this, this email I got, I better not click on that link. I've actually started cutting texts from emails that most of, most of the time I can tell when it's, it's phishing or where, it, where it's spam or where it's a, it's a scam deal. I can usually tell, but if I'm not sure, I'll grab the text, I'll throw it in the, the top bar in my Google and I'll search and it'll say a, co a common scam where people are, and, I, and it, gives, it tells me the scam and what's going on there. So well, why would you check that? Because we live in a world where we have to be careful. Get wise counsel. If you're not sure, and, and especially if you're not tech savvy and you get something on, on a text message or an email, and you're not sure if this is legit, ask someone who knows more than you about it and let them tell you. And then finally, check in with the experts. You know, ask somebody who, who's not just a friend who knows, but somebody who really has studied these things and make sure that you are not getting ripped off in this life. So here's your, here's your weekly wisdom today, and I'm going to pray for you for this. Have discernment. Be a little more careful. Someone comes on your text. Someone comes on your email. Someone comes knocking at your door. Be careful that what they're selling, what they're saying, what they're doing is honest. And sometimes it's hard to tell. Don't, don't feel too bad if you get tricked sometimes because that's there's people working real hard to deceive others. But walk into sermon. I'm going to pray that for you. Lord Jesus, there are people that will say, it's no good, it's no good, knowing full well that it's good and trying to rip us off. And I thank you in your word. It's that practical to warn us to walk with wisdom and discernment, even in how we conduct ourselves in the simple things of life and even in business transactions. Give us your wisdom and your leadership and the willingness to ask others for help to make sure that we don't end up on the other side of deception. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings on you. Have a great day. Have a great week. And be careful.